Well, hello, friends. Fujosevich here. Welcome back to some Hearthstone with some Jade Golem Druid. And this is a matchup that, coming up against a priest, that, meh, it's, it's okay, I think. But I think the more interesting thing about this matchup is the interaction between Malfurion and Tyrande, as they have a unique entrance greeting, which, which is something that we've seen very, very sparsely used in Hearthstone, which I actually really, really like. I know uh, Karen has a unique interaction when he gets summoned going up against the warrior hero played by Garrosh, which I really, really enjoy. But, and I'm, and I'm kind of glad that Hearthstone has that as a, it keeps it as a very unique sort of thing. It's not, it's not used widely just on every single, every single hero doesn't have something unique and every single card doesn't have something unique as well. I like that. It makes the, makes the ones that actually are unique stand out that much more. And so these first few turns, I mean, it's definitely we're playing some sort of control priest. Surprise, surprise. Gonna be dragons, obviously, right now, for another month or so. All, all, all priests will be dragon priests. Uh, we have options. I, I like... I like Druid of the Claw here. Simply because the higher health, and then worst case, we can charge the next one in. If our opponent wants to do some sort of attacking shenanigans, and if they, if they want to do attack and heal... We can kind of get through it that way. Oh, that's scary now. So now we're going to have to see really what happens. And we have Swipe and Wrath. So we have... We have opportunity. We have options really here for what we can try and get through. What we can try and do here. But it's not looking... Ooh, second Swipe. 4-1 ha attack. Leaves this at 3. Leaves this at 2. Gets healed up to 4. It's not the worst thing in the world. What could we do with Azure Drake, though? Azure Drake, not that much, to be honest. Now, the only real issue with this with this plan of attack... Now, we could Innervate and just Wrath to kill this as well. And I kind of actually like that. As much as it means we miss out on the draw. Our opponent has lots and lots of cards, so there's a good chance they're going to throw down something else on this coming turn. So I want to have as clear a board as possible. And we have a 4-3 on board, which will help deal with whatever gets thrown down. Excavated Evil, guess what? That's a pretty, pretty decent turn for us. I'm kind of okay with that. Coining out a small whatever, yeah. A 2-4, that's fine. I'm totally okay with that play. Now, we do not have any goblin auctioneers in this deck unfortunately so we don't have crazy cycle opportunities for later on i think throwing out an ancient of war now is probably going to be reasonable although charging in the druid of the claw is also kind of okay what to do? and the reason why i want to do um hmm well, let's my my issue with summoning and i know this is kind of like this might seem like there's not as much to think about here, but the reason why I'm thinking about this, because if this gets Shadow or Death, opponent's going to have 7 minus 3, going to be 4 mana. I guess we'll be okay. And the reason why we have 2 Ancient of Wars, 2 Jade Behemoths, and 2 Druid of the Claws, because again, this deck is teched a little bit more anti-aggro. And there's a Death, but our opponent didn't have... Eh, 4 mana is definitely different than, yeah. Just armoring up. At the end of the day, I'm not sure how much that armor is going to help, but we'll see. Uh, we are going to play one and shuffle one. Uh, are we going to do that? Yeah, we will. Um, and we'll just, uh, we'll just taunt it up again. And so now we've got three Jade Idols. Three out of... Three out of 23 for Jade Idols. To start really going crazy. What is that? Entombing the 4-6, wow. That is a interesting play. So this really now, we need to get our Jade Golems really ramping out, I think, very, very quickly. This is going to be a summon. And you know what? Drawing last? I think this is okay. And there's another Jade. You know what? Uh, that's okay. I, th I still think I might have done it this way anyways. Because at this point, the, the Jade Blossom is... It's a 3-mana Jade Golem, so it's kind of fine. 
and it just continues the ramp whereas the, the jade spirit eh, at this point it's the difference i don't think is that big really for us to be worrying about it our opponent gets another free kill with the worm rest agent but at this point none of the jade golems are going to be free kills and that's good so now we have two out of 21 Ooh, that's kind of a scarier one but that's okay Healing face, not really worrying, knowing this trade is going to happen every time. We do have the option of swiping here, actually, to clear the board. Which I, I don't mind. We, ha we have a couple draws left. Basically, our big draw is going to be our Nourish. And this is one of those things where there was a, there's a really big trade-off with... What do you do with this deck in terms of... In terms of your draw, I mean, having a Goblin Auctioneer, we would have maybe hung on to one of those Jade Idols and hoped to draw into it, and then we could have just started cycling like crazy, potentially. Or, you know, we we just wait for our Nurse, where we know it's a guaranteed three-card draw for five mana. Which is also... Which is also a reasonable... A reasonable thing to have. I know, I put my mouse here again, and it goes underneath the, the deck list. Let me change Cabal Shadow Priest, that's fine. We've got a couple 4-4s four on board. Ooh, this is actually pretty strong against us. What do we want to get? Um, Fandral, this is actually now in a pretty... We are in a pretty weak position now, aren't we? Because this is 5. This is a really awkward trade no matter what we do. Um, Yeah, we're in a pretty bad situation no matter what. And the issue is how many draws do we have? We have 2 Nourishes... I guess Blood Mage will be a draw eventually. Wrath would be a draw eventually. So there's four. Four out of 20. One over five, 20%. You got like 20% chance to draw into more draws. And I guess Wild Growth. You know the Wild Growth. Okay, you know what? We're okay. We're going to go. We're going to go for this. Um... I wonder what's better, me taking the three? Oh, no, 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 we have to do it this way. What's what, what's up with me? Yeah, take out the four or five when you have the chance. So who knows? I mean, we haven't seen a Shadow Word Paint, although we did see two... Do we see two of anything yet? Actually, you know what? Cabal Shadow Priest would probably tell me. Pine Sides? Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I thought there was going to be crazy... Genie combo there for some reason. Oh, there's like four or five great draws here. This is a pretty decent draw as well. And the fact in... So there's a lot of draws in our deck, and then there's a lot of cards in our deck that are just going to end up being huge. You know, I think the only things that we really don't need to be seeing are going to be Acidic Swamp Ooze. Are going to be Living Roots. There's two Living Roots. Blood Mage isn't great in Brand. So there's five. Eh, it's starting to become a little bit of a bigger issue, actually, where there's five cards that aren't aren't necessarily excellent for us to see but then the rest are all really great and then i guess there's an excavated evil that our oh no okay well our jades are going to be bigger but our opponent might have more draw so that could actually be an issue uh i'm gonna hang on to bran because there's no point in not hanging on to Bran. Oh, that is awful. That is awful, awful for us to see there. Okay. Yeah, that's that's really, really not great for us. Oh my, we just lost, huh? The Jade Golem Druid goes down. Well, we can we can continue to get a little value, right? We can Feral Rage attack into here. Wait, this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not enough for Ysera, unfortunately. But it is enough to go this way, right? Now, the issue is Ysera is just going to be healed like crazy. So I think the way that we can win now is if we Bran into a Jade card. So that we'll just fill the board ridiculously because at this point our jades are pretty big and our opponent oh boy hard removal that's pretty hard removal 
And you know, the fact that that was oh, our opponent's turn completely. Uh, this is, I mean, it's a draw. So that's a thing. But there's just an issue in the fact that we can't do many more combos now. Oh boy, we're going to have to draw here. Nope, I said draw. We are not in good shape. And now that's seven mana, so we're kind of in really, really big trouble. A 6-6 six, six and a 7-7, seven, seven, but honestly, it might just be too slow. And I think we might just get run over by Ysera, as decks often do, to be honest with you. If Ysera lives a couple turns, that's one of the better ones, I think. I think that means we have maybe a chance. Although I kind of would love to top deck Jade Behemoth right now. Just because I'm terrified of dying. <laughs> And we'll go face, and we'll hang on to the spell power just because. Okay. There's still a chance. Seven, seven damage. I mean, there's a lot of ways that Ysera could be dealing damage right now. And that, to be honest, Priest. I mean, Priest is not known for burst, obviously. But there's they, this deck still has options. Our opponent still has some options right now. Which is unfortunate. And we still have a couple dead draws. Which is really bad. And there were definitely a few. Uh-oh. What the heck could this be? Okay, that's reasonable. Oh, and now attack and then heal. It's unfortunate for us, huh? Okay, what do we need to top deck? We need to top we need the best top deck ever. Excavated Evil could actually do work now. Oh that is so bad. And we can't take that out yet. So we'll hang on to it, to be honest. Now the issue is Brand can attack, Brand can get more value. Oh, there are so many bad things that could happen to us right now. That's a pretty bad thing. Oh, going Ysera value. Woo. We need some help, that's for sure. Ancient of War, I'm assuming, gets Death and Entombed gone. Oh my... That's pretty bad for us. Another Jade Idol. There's so many Thought Steel Ysera cards in hand right now. Ay ay ay. I'm just gonna take out the, the two here. Eventually, if we're given time, these Jades will let us win. But. I think like we may have just run out of time and gotten outvalued with Ysera. So it's good to see that that a legendary like Ysera is still able to outvalue something like oh yeah that's a that's a good shadow word pain no doubt about it. <laughs> Ysera is still able to outvalue the Jade Golems, which people thought wouldn't be possible originally when Gadgetan came out. But I think I think we're basically seeing now how the Jade Golems can be beaten and the Jade Golems do get beaten. Oh. Is this just lethal for them? Or they're just setting up a uh, two-turn lethal now? Oh no, the buffs. That, that That's honestly why I wanted the, the taunt, because I was afraid these nightmares might be here. Exact lethal. Woo! Super lethal. Well played. All right, that was a pretty fun game. That was good to see. I don't know that we made any mistakes along the way, any massive mistakes, other than not including an auctioneer that we could have had halfway through and then not drawing Nourish. But I think overall we did okay with that game. Just didn't end up being the result that we liked. So if you're enjoying these videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And I'll see you next time.